and now is the most exciting time so let's do it uh, let's just uh, launch Excel and let's do this high-level project plan so I have Microsoft Excel running and um, we're going to define in individual columns we're going to define tasks and as you saw we have um, a column header we can do a project delivery mode and underneath of this we'll just use um, what's called work um, waterfall methodology and what this is it's uh, it's just a way of execution of the task so we have a sequential execution like waterfall so you have second task starts when the first one is completed or partially completed or almost completed right and it kind of goes one after another so and, and there are key phases of the project so this delivery mode is pretty high level so we have a project definition right and that would be our first stage and then we have project analysis and requirements right, and then we have project design this is where we can do uh, the actual design and of, of our product and this this is pretty generic so if project definition um, phase uh, this is where we define the goals we define the objectives we define the costs we define the business benefits of what we're going to be trying to do analysis of requirements we look at the stakeholders we look who will benefit we kind of validate our idea of the definition are we going to move forward or not are we going to maybe it's better to cancel maybe it's better to do nothing nothing that's always an option let's assume we made a decision to do design so we go and do design we design our product the product could be new server could be um, new software application could be something else once we designed it um, we look at the project development and build um, and this is where we build actual product so let's say that we're building a server we have uh, as we've talked and looked at our example we're replacing and upgrading uh, our computer box and we need to bring in a new one so this is where we are actually gonna go we're gonna purchase it uh, we're gonna uh, deliver it we're gonna install it we're gonna migrate existing files we're gonna set up security permissions we're gonna do a lot of these things and that's where a detailed plan comes in here at this point we're just looking at the high level but I'm just showing you the differences between high level and the low level so in high level we just say development and build in the detailed plan we'll list all of these activities I just mentioned and then the next phase would be project testing this is where we validate results is the results of the execution are based off of uh, what we wanted to accomplish based on our requirements the server meet the specs does it work fast enough does it support hundred users thousand of users whatever our target audience was does it have proper backup does it have 24 7 support all of these things that we wanted to implement in the analysis and requirements phase now we're going to validate in testing phase and in project uh, uh, closure project deployment uh, is the last phase where we can validate the results uh, and uh, in the software development this could be when we deploy the application in production we do all of this development build and test environment and then deploy it in production in infrastructure project it's a little bit different so it, it's unique how you you do it and implement but it's it works while saying that there might be a cutover um, specific weekend typically it's on the off hours off time because uh, a lot of people use this but this is where we do a deployment and then we have a project closure so this is the high level tasks here in the columns we're going to define the timeline so we're going to start with uh, June uh, 2014 right and we're just gonna um, so June 2014 if we're doing it by months we can do it by months we can do it by years if it's like a freeway building it could be a, um, a large project but this would be July 2014 
August uh, 2014, um, September 2014, October right, 2014, November um, 2014, December 2014, January. February, I'm sorry, January 2015, um, February 2015, March 2015, and April 2015. So let's assume that this is our timeline. We have that many months to do all these phases, and now we're just going to say, okay, this... Um, uh, first phase project definition is going to last two months so we're just going to highlight it and pick the color for this phase and we probably would want to round it and say okay yeah this is two months activity and then um, this is the definition phase analysis and requirements might take three months so we do it uh, a, a different color um, and we also do uh, a circle and uh, borders here are chosen as outside borders only so there's nothing inside it just has a better visual effect design phase might take a little longer and it, it might overlap some phases may overlap some phases may not overlap let's assume the design phase will overlap and uh, we're going to use borders as well um, and let's say the development build phase can only start when design is finished so we pick two month and then we pick the blue color um, and uh, as you can see there's no overlap here and uh, same with testing uh, but testing typically can start a little bit earlier when only partial components are done so you can engage testing team and that's where we'll just pick um, a different color again and we um, identify the activity um, then deployment in one month and then project closure would be an activity in April so that's the high-level project plan and as I mentioned in the previous sections the advantage of this plan is the fact that you can take it um, and communicate the information right so now I look at this I clearly see that this is the phase um, that uh, definition phase that will run for two months from June to July um, will when we build a detailed plan we'll look at how to add uh, resources how to identify specific needs and who's going to do what uh, but from the high level this is pretty good because now I have the timeline I can take to executives, I can take to my decision makers, and this will help me to communicate the information. Uh, I can embed it into from Excel into other documents. I can take it into Word and insert it into my text. I can insert it into my email message. I can print this PDF. I can share it in a lot of different ways, and that's the big advantage of doing it uh, in Microsoft Excel because it allows all of these different functionalities. So hope you enjoyed this video and please join me in uh, future sessions where we'll look at the detailed project plan uh, with all the additional information that we're going to enhance uh, here in Microsoft Excel.